Lori is watching out for your safety on the road. A viewer contacted us about looking into grooves MoDOT has been putting between lanes on some area highways. News Force Page Holsey reports on the purpose and the problems drivers say those grooves are causing. Mike Mudd says he's ridden motorcycles most of his life. The therapy, stress therapy, the wind. But about a year ago, he started noticing what he describes as a hazard in St. Louis area interstates. These grooves between lanes. It just depends on the speed and the angle you hit it. It could be a little bump or a large one that gets you. MoDOT officials showed us the lane markers that lay in those indentations. It's all about safety. It's, it's more reflectivity. And the primary purpose is really at nighttime when it's raining. But Mud says it's everything else in that niche causing a problem. The more like rainstorms and stuff that I got caught into, debris was getting washed into these grooves and then rocks and the reflectors and other debris is getting kicked up into our faces. Some motorcycle drivers say this problem with debris is getting so bad they're switching from these open face helmets to full face helmets. Debris on the road is always a challenge. We do the best we can to take care of that. I know we've looked at a few different styles. Some are a hair deeper than the other, but you're all talking about, I mean, you're looking at if this is glued down, it's, it's a half inch. MoDOT officials say they've actually been testing these inlay reflectors on St. Louis area interstates since 2010. This year, they hired a consultant to look at their effectiveness, the cost of maintaining them, and whether they're decreasing the number of crashes. If we didn't believe they were safe and they weren't helping, we wouldn't be pursuing them. But Mud is hoping they can find a different solution to the reflection and lane issues. These grooves are not the answer. Paige Holsey, News 4. You may remember those lane reflectors on top of the pavement. MoDOT is moving away from those because they can be too easily clipped by plow trucks or by other vehicles.